spending all that money on different monitors just to check your mix, which you need to do, can make you go broke. So what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna hopefully be able to patch you guys into the VR inbox and we're gonna listen to Let Go. What's up everybody, this is Coach Maddie, Maddie McCaskill, Maddie the chef, when I feel like hopping in the studio. Listen, I wanted to talk about being in the room. My coaches and mentors in entrepreneurship, they're always talking about getting in the room, right? Being around the right people so that you can network, being in the room. But I'm not talking about being in an actual room networking. I'm talking about the virtual room. So you see this thing right here? It says V, let me see if I can, there we go. V, well, get into focus. VR inbox from Focusrite. It's absolutely amazing. As a home studio music producer, audio engineer, I have found that changing different rooms, you know, you gotta get used to your room. You you, you can go down the, the list of buying baffles for your walls, all types of acoustic treatment, and it gets expensive. What happens if you have to move? You need to be able to check your music on different types of speakers. I loved to check my mixes on my 2005 Chevrolet Malibu, that was my baby. I checked a bunch of different mixes on there, working with artists uh, as an audio engineer and also as a music producer, record producer. The VR inbox, what it does is that it has simulated multiple rooms, right? Multiple rooms, different types of speakers so that you don't have to try to spend a whole bunch of money on a really big sound system or a really big studio setup that you might not be able to have right now. We wanna to get to that place, but we need tools to fit into the budget that we have right now. So this little machine, the VRM box, is absolutely amazing to check your mixes, see how things are sounding. And the reason why you wanna check your mixes is because you could have speakers, monitors. I've got, I've got some M Audio, some pretty inexpensive M Audio BX5 studio file monitors that I've gotten comfortable with. Uh, and they're, you know, they're pretty decent monitors uh, for a home studio, but you've got KRKs, you've got all types of, you got Yamaha, you got all types of monitors and spending all that money on different monitors just to check your mix, which you need to do, can make you go broke. So what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna hopefully be able to patch you guys into the VR inbox and we're gonna listen to Let Go. We're gonna listen to a song that I recorded, uh, produced and recorded with Deja Bell, uh, 2016, uh, Let Go. And we're gonna listen to how it sounds in these different rooms, right? Stay tuned. Okay, so I had to keep it funky real quick. Um, so what I was trying to do was get the VR inbox to play to play nice with with this guy, with the focus right via the um, spinif cable. And it wasn't playing, and sometimes that'll happen. I've seen it happen. Uh, literally, all I did was I just turned every th single thing off, and I shut down my whole computer, and then started the computer again. But this time, I started the uh, the focus right at the um at the startup window so if anybody runs into that hopefully that helps you out let's get back to that so there's a little bit of latency it's bothering me okay so there's a little bit of latency in the track because what i'm doing is i'm coming out of the vr inbox i'm not really i'm not coming out of the focus right anymore but the microphone is going to the focus right it's a whole bunch of stuff i don't want to bore you up with that i just want you to hear what the music sounds like okay i'm running the audio through uh the vr inbox so you guys are gonna be able to see that check this out first we're gonna run it through the machine without any signal being processed right so you see that it says vrm is currently inactive and when i press this enable button then you're going to start to hear the sound change and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go through different room sounds and things like that, right? I'm, I'm not gonna go through the whole thing, but I just go through a couple in these uh, uh, three different rooms, right? So you got professional studio, you've got bedroom, and you've got living room. So let's hear it, uh, let's hear Let Go, straight up coming through the DAW. Five, 
So you see how amazing that thing is? That little VRM box, it's amazing. This is not a paid sponsorship, but you know, go get that VRM box. Last time when I bought it some years back, it was about around 60, 70 bucks or so. But it is amazing little uh, machine that you can hook up with to your laptop. It just uses a, a USB cable, you know, and the, the Spitif, cable that I have going out that's some extra stuff that you can you know hook up to your audio interface if you have one but I highly recommend this because when you're checking the mixes um, at home you don't have all of that money right and before you get wrapped up and uh, uh, discouraged about what you don't have you can do this you can have this thing until you're able to you know make some amazing records and produce some amazing albums and you you know you're for the the album you're for once you're able to make some once you're producing amazing music and and getting in those royalties and all of that type of stuff then you go buy this the big studio then you go buy you know 13 different types of monitors so that you can check your mix right because music producers were always growing we're always adding different skills to the bag always learning hey i gotta say this in the very beginning please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel comment below and let me know if, if you if you're banging with this video or, or not so guys i will see you all on the next video thank you so much for watching i'm out